Hey everyone, Scott Smith with the Smith team at Keller Williams. Wanted to share with you a little bit different format uh, today on Friday the 29th. Uh, we have actually uh, some market stats uh, from the Minneapolis Association of Realtors. Uh, one of the questions that we're getting a lot these days is when is the market going to get back to normal? And there, we're never in a in a normal market. We're always in a transitioning market. If you kind of think of the old uh, adage about uh, there's never this, if you're standing in the river, you're never in the same spot at once. So with that, um, we wanted to share with you just some information on how this year's market compares to last year's market. So looking right from the Minneapolis Association of Realtors uh, website, they've got different reports that we look at. It's also available to the public. Um, so I want to show you some information that I think might be helpful as it relates to what is going on uh, with the market. Um, in contrast to what you might be hearing on the news, uh, obviously headlines sell. But this is uh, new listings. Uh, and if you look at this chart here, it shows uh, the dark blue line is what is uh, for 2021. And the lighter dashed line is from 2020. And you can see our new listing act activity is about the same as it was last year. We're actually up a little bit uh, compared to last year. Uh, overall, it's it's very similar uh, in the number of homes. Now, last year, we were right at the beginning, uh, early stages of quarantining with COVID uh, going into April and May. Um, so that could explain why this is a little bit lower. Um, and actually, we're trending upwards right now in the Twin Cities. So that's a very, very good thing. Um, but we look at next is pending sales. So they, everyone says, well, the, the market conditions are so horrible. We're right now, actually, our, our, our pending sales are certainly a leading indicator of we're going significantly in the right direction. Uh, more pending sales means more uh, more buyers' offers are getting accepted, more inventory. Uh, potentially coming on the market. So looking at compared to last year, you can see we were trending along the same line and then it actually started to separate over the last uh, last few weeks in, into April. So certainly good news on that regard. And then when we look at um, the inventory of homes for sale, this is the glaring, uh, I should say the blinding glimpse of the obvious. The uh, What we're hearing in the headlines is that there is very, very little inventory. We're obviously at historic lows. So looking at this a little bit closer, compared to a year ago, um, we were up around 10,000 uh, homes for sale at any given time in the Twin Cities metro area. This year, we are uh, down just over 5,000 homes. So you can see these numbers uh, are in, down 30, 40, 50% almost. Um, historically, we look at the bottom of this chart, and you can see uh, a few years ago we were in the 12 to 15,000 range. Going back uh, even to 2007, 8, 9, we were in the in the upper 30,000 range for a number of homes for sale in the Twin Cities metro area. Uh, certainly wasn't the demand that there was then, but obviously there is now. So we are uh, at a shortage of homes for sale that are sitting on the market. And I think that's a, a big distinction to really consider when you're looking at this information. We're at a shortage of homes that are sitting on the market because we can't just can't replenish that inventory fast enough. They're getting gobbled up by uh, by very hungry buyers. Uh, so as soon as we put it on the market, uh, we've got one coming to the market on Friday. We already have 30 showings booked on a $500,000 home in New Brighton. And we expect it to be sold uh, hopefully by next uh, by next week. So uh, with that, I uh, just want to share with you some insight into the real numbers uh, of real estate uh, compared to what you might be reading in the, in the headlines. This, these are local numbers. Um, the average days on market, interestingly enough, is actually um, only about 40 days. We're certainly down um, 39 days uh, in March uh, of last year, uh, 39 or 61 days uh, of 2020. Um, so with that, we're expecting those numbers are going to be down even more. Uh, we're seeing homes that are on the market for usually less than two weeks. Median sales prices, obviously, uh, very, very strong. Uh, we're at an all-time high, uh, according to the Minneapolis Association of Realtors. The median sale price is right in the middle. Uh, so we're seeing 328 uh, was our was the median sales price uh, last in March, uh, up Almost thirty, well over thirty thousand dollars compared to the same time last year, and over fifty thousand dollars compared to twenty nineteen. So people are sitting in some really good equity there. Um, percentage of the original list price received, 
Um, obviously, this is in flux, but we're seeing multiple offers, home selling for significantly above list price. Um, the biggest thing I want to share with you with this is, you know, what is a normal market? Again, a normal market, we're never in a normal market. It is a balanced market. It's a, always in transition, uh, buyer's market, seller's market. It is the market of the moment. And with that, you know, we're always uh, have to be flexible and being able to adapt and interpret the market so we can help our buyers and sellers make some uh informed decisions wishing you all the best to have a great weekend enjoy the warm sunshine this last uh last part of april getting into may and uh all the best to you and your family and if there's anyone you know that's looking to buy or sell a home we'd love to be a resource for you thanks and take care